Hello and welcome to another Sonic Wall video tutorial. My name is MG Sri Ramaya, Senior Tech Support Engineer, Sonic Wall. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up Hub and Spoke Site to Site VPN between Sonic Wall UTM appliances. In Hub and Spoke VPN, a central site Sonic Wall acts as a hub with two or more remote uh, site Sonic Walls acting as spokes. Each remote site network communicates with each other through the central site. These are the steps to configure Hub and Spoke Site to Site VPN. Create address objects and address groups in each Sonic Wall for each source and destination networks. Create a VPN policy in each Sonic Wall. Test connectivity. This network diagram shows the setup we use for this video tutorial. In this setup, we have three sites with a Sonic Wall UTM appliance at each site. The central office Sonic Wall, which is the hub, has the X0 interface in the LAN zone in the 192.168.168 subnet. The branch office Sonic Walls are the spokes. The Sonic Wall at branch office A has its LAN in the 10.10.10 subnet. The Sonic Wall at branch office B has its LAN in the 172.27.24 subnet. Our aim is to create a site-to-site -side VPN between the central office Sonic Wall with each branch office Sonic Wall. After configuration, the central office network must be able to communicate with the spokes. The spokes must be able to communicate with each other through the hub. We begin by configuring the Sonic Wall at central office. I'm now logged into the management interface of the Sonic Wall and have navigated to the network address objects page. Let's create an address object for each destination network. Under the address object section, click on add to open the add address objects window. Under name, Enter branch office A LAN. Set zone as VPN. Set type as network and enter 10.10.10.0 and a 24 bit net mask under the net mask field. Click on add to create this object. Now change the name to branch office B LAN. Change the network to 172.27.24.0. Click on add and then click on close. Let's now group these objects into an address group. Go to the top of this page and click on Add Group. This group is for the local networks for the VPN to Branch Office A. So let's call it Local and Branch Office B Network. Select the address object X0 subnet and then Branch Office B LAN and then add them to the group. Click on OK to create this group. Click on Add Group again. This group is for the local networks for the VPN to Branch Office B, so let's call it Local and Branch Office A Network. Select the address object X0 Subnet and Branch Office A LAN and add them to the group. Click on OK to create this group. Next, let's create a VPN policy. I am in the VPN Settings page. Click on Add to open the VPN Policy window. This policy is for the VPN to Branch Office A, so call it VPN to Branch Office A. Under Primary Gateway, enter 192.168.10.1. For shared secret, we enter Password123. Click on the Network tab. Under Local Networks, select the address group Local and Branch Office B. Under Remote Networks, select the address object Branch Office A. We don't change anything in the Proposals tab, we use the default settings for the remaining options. Click on OK to create this policy. Let us now create a VPN policy to Branch Office B. Click on Add to open the VPN policy window. Under Name, enter VPN to Branch Office B. Under Primary Gateway, enter 192.168.30.1. For shared secret, we enter Password123. Click on the Network tab. Under Local Networks, select the address group Local and Branch Office A. Under Remote Networks, select the address object Branch Office B. Click on OK to create this policy. These are the VPN policies we just created. Next, we configure the Sonic Wall at Branch Office A. I am now logged into the management interface of the Sonic Wall at Branch Office A and have navigated to the Network Address Objects page. Let's create address objects for the central office 
and branch office B networks. Under the address object section, click on add to open the add address object window. Under name, enter central office LAN. Set zone as VPN. Set type as network and enter 192.168.168.0 and a 24-bit net mask under the net mask field. Click on add to create this object. Now change the name to branch office BLAN. Change the network to 172.27.24.0. Click on add and then click on close. For local network, we use the predefined address object x0 subnet. Let's now group these objects. Go to the top of this page and click on add group. Let's call this group central and branch office B network. Select the address objects central office LAN and branch office B LAN and then add them to the group. Click on OK to create this group. Next, let's create a VPN policy. I am on the VPN settings page. Click on add to open the VPN policy window. This policy is for the VPN to the central office, so call it VPN to central office. Under primary gateway, enter 192.168.170.51. We enter the same shared secret as in the central office VPN, password 123. Click on the network tab. Under local networks, select the address object x0 subnet. In TZ devices, select LAN primary subnet. Under remote networks, select the address object central and branch office B. We keep the default settings under proposals. Click on the advanced tab. Here, enable the checkbox under enable keep alive and click on OK to create this policy. Next, we configure the sonic wall at branch office B. I am now logged into the management interface of the sonic wall at branch office B and have navigated to the network address objects page. Let's create address objects for the central office and branch office A networks. Under the address object section, click on add to open the add address object window. Under name, enter central office LAN. Set zone as VPN. Set type as network and enter 192.168.168.0 and a 24-bit net mask. Click on Add to create this object. Change the name to branch office A LAN. Change the network to 10.10.10.0. Click on Add and then click on Close. Scroll to the top and click on Add Group. Enter the name Central and Branch Office A Network. Select the address objects Central Office LAN and Branch Office A LAN and add them to the group. Click on OK to create this group. Next, let's create the VPN policy. I am in the VPN settings page. Click on Add to open the VPN policy window. Enter VPN to central office under name. Under primary gateway, enter 192.168.170.51. For shared secret, we enter password 123. Click on the network tab. Under Local Networks, select the address object X0 subnet. Under Remote Networks, select the address object Central and Branch Office A network. We keep the default settings under Proposals. Click on the Advanced tab. Here, enable the checkbox under Enable Keep Alive and click on OK to create this policy. To bring up the tunnel, initiate traffic from each spoke to a host in the Central Office network. I am in the VPN settings page of the NSA220 at branch office A. As you can see, there is a tunnel to the central office network and the remote branch office B network. In the NSA220 at branch office B, you can see the VPN tunnels to both central office and branch office A networks. Finally, in the central office sonic wall, both the VPN policies are up with a tunnel to each destination. This concludes this video on how to set up hub and spoke side-to-side -side VPN between sonic wall appliances. Thank you for watching this video. To learn more about Dell SonicWall security products, visit sonicwall.com. For more video tutorials, visit dellsoftware.com support.